Hello everyone and welcome to today's 10 to 14 day video. So we're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. Day 10 will take us to the 11th of November and we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They're running to around a good weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 of course at the end of the video um, for December actually. The opening salvo from the CFS for December. Not sure we're going to have a week clears today so uh, they haven't updated yet. I'll check one last time. Time, uh, when we get to that part of video. Otherwise, it'll just be the CFS monthly opening salvo for December. And it's all coming up for you in a moment. Just say we release a channel member exclusive today. It's um, WF42 there for channel members. So if you are a channel member, make sure you can check that one out. And Terry Scully's November forecast has been uh, posted on the Gals Web of its Facebook page. So uh, make sure you're following our Facebook page. The link in the description with this video. I shared the link to our Facebook page. Terry Scully's forecast across all of Gals Webby's socials as well. So um, it's out there for you. Check out Terry's November forecast on the Facebook page if you'd like to do that. We've reached our next target of 20.6k so that happened very quickly overnight i think um no 20 20.6k subscribers will push on to 20.7k now please like share subscribe thank you so much everyone for doing that right let's start off later with that from earth no school.net show that low pressure is dominating the weather between um iceland and scotland bring in a westerly flow from off the Atlantic. So unsettled at the moment with low pressure well treating control. And low pressure will certainly take us through the first week to 10 days of November. Uh, let's see if that's updated. So, yeah, central in temperature is confirmed at 11.3, which is just 0.7 of a degree above the 61 to 1990 average, slightly above average for uh, October, continuing the trend from September, really a little bit above average, not excessively so. We've lost those sort of two, three degree uh, anomalies that we had earlier on in the year and we've come down closer to average but still slightly above for the time being uh, right, let's push on to the, of course, we'll wait and see where November finishes up. Let's finish, let's push on to um, the uh, upper air temperature absorption ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We went to London today. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off around to slightly below average, average with the upper air temperature at the moment. Maybe lifting up though as we go from the first week and into the second week of uh, November. Looking generally milder than average for the next couple of weeks. Temptation wise, so unsettled, especially in the first week, 10 days of November. Maybe not looking as wet as it did a few days ago, though. And then a uh, trending a little bit drier than average around the middle part of the month. Temperature anomalies for the next five days to the 6th of November above average. And precipitation anomalies for the next seven days to the 8th of November. Substantially worse than average in the north and west. Near normal, just slightly drier than normal though, over in the east. Right, so let's start going for chart data. Then. This is how the latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Tuesday. And low pressure will be dominating the weather between Scotland and Iceland, bringing in the southwesterly flow. So very mild air being dragged up from the Azores and from the Canary Islands, but with outbreaks of rain, likely particularly to the west. So to the west of hills and mountains, west of Scotland, northwest and in Lake District, for example, north and west Wales, likely to be moisture laden, uh, or likely to be very wet with these moisture laden southwesterly winds. Well, we push on through uh, next week and it stays unsettled. Low pressure will continue to head in from off the Atlantic, keeping those southwesterlies going, so staying mild or very mild, but with outbreaks of rain to the northwest. The south southeast should be a little bit drier 
and to this very slight transient ridge. Icon again with those long fetch southwest winds dragging up that very mild air to uh, the west of Portugal around the Canary Islands and the Azores early next week. But of course, we'll be moist laden, so it will bring heavy rain into the north and the west as well. And those uh, spells of rain will push further eastwards, very mild, but also unsettled through the first uh, week or so of November. And the KMA carries on the trend again. Low pressure will be in control, bringing very mild but also very wet weather in from off the Atlantic. Tempt at some higher pressure there as we uh, move on to about the 12th, 11th, 12th of November. But it looks like it's about to be swept aside. More low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. And the GFS midnight run again with both southwesterly winds bringing up very mild air. But with weather systems also bringing out breaks of rain. Bit of an attempt at building up some higher pressure there. For 7th of November, that comes to nothing. Low pressure keeps heading in. But then a change. We get to the 9th of November, and then a more definitive build of pressure from the south. Some higher pressure starting to push northwards. So, by the time we get to around day 9, we've got high pressure sitting over and to the east of the country, bringing a lot of dry weather, but also potentially bringing something a bit colder. Winds coming in from off the continent. That could drag in some, uh, you know, chillier air from the continent. However, it's quite a brief, uh, you know, interlude of higher pressure. And then the lows are coming back in from the Atlantic. Attempt to build up a Scandinavian high as we get towards the middle part of uh, November. So, again, that's quite a significant change. That's 15th high pressure then has taken over. So, after the very unsettled but very mild uh, sort of first week or so of November, we could be seeing a trend here to something just a little bit a drier and a cooler potentially around the middle part of the month. That's a 17th. Low pressure to the south, drawing up wind from a southerly southeasterly direction. So, uh, again, back to milder and unsettled conditions. What about GFS 6 Zeb? Well, that also has both moisture rain southwest, is bringing heavy rain into northwest, but also very mild temperatures through the first week of November. But after that, higher pressure begins to build over and to the east of the country. That's day 10 with high pressure between Iceland and Norway. No low pressure to the south of the west of the UK and Ireland. That draws up wind from a southerly southeasterly direction. So mild uh, still, but also unsettled. I wouldn't take that much start back in the wind around to the east. Eventually, we do go into an easterly on this GFS run. So that is the 13th of November. High pressure and dominates between Iceland and Norway. Wind coming in uh, from, the east, from the east. Hold on. <coughs> so sorry, everyone. When coming in, uh, we we'll be our video or live stream by the cop. By the cop, by the way, we did Pub Run Live at Season 6 debut uh, last night. So check that out. Bit of fun. Um, no, the wind uh, stays in an easterly direction as we go into the extent. It's not a particularly cold easy, probably drags in a lot of uh, a low cloud dampness with it as well. Um, but also, you know, the sky is clear. If, if the sky is clear, it would be enough probably to bring some open light frost. Certainly cooler anyway, the second week of November there compared to the first week. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for tuning back to so, so drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Live streams too. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web well, and get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much everyone for tuning back. We've reached 20.6k. We push on now 20.7k. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM again with those long fetch southwesterlies, very mild but also wet through the uh, early part of the uh, next week to middle part of the week. Low pressure carries on heading in into the second half of next week. Low pressure keep on coming. Again, a bit of an attempt to build up some higher pressure from the south there. Rather nice from November. But all in all, up to day 10, very unsettled. Low pressure dominates. Plenty of rain. Plenty of rain. And also strong winds to come. And then the ECM rounding it all off with those long fetch southwest winds. They bring up very mild air 
from the uh, south west uh, as we go through the course of next week the low pressure will keep on coming bring bouts of uh, wet weather in with them too heading up toward day 10 don't be change low pressure into the west of scotland lots of uh, wet weather coming in from off the atlantic but at least it will be mild in the extended well we keep it very unsettled uh, with this ecm run low pressure never all that far away heading up towards uh, the middle part of the bump that gets us to the 16th of November, by which time another low is punching through. Notice high pressure just starting to head a bit further uh, northward, so some quite cold air is lurking to the north of this air of low pressure, very mild to the south of it, uh, of course, and in between, well, lots of heavy rain. Um, now that goes beyond that, probably below pushes through. Got to collapse the heights over Spain, though, to get anything particularly calm. Well, this precipitation forecast based on that at East Chevron from Tibet.com. Plenty of uh, showers and longer spells of rain uh, coming and going over the uh, next week or so. Bouts of rain never all that far away, all the way up to day 10. A very unsettled outlook. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office, getting us to the 11th of November. 20 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure to the north and east, low pressure to the south and west, and we bring up winds from a southerly direction. No very mild, but also quite unsettled. We've got 18, being quite deep, low pressure in uh, from off the Atlantic. Again, that's looking like a bit of an onslaught type pattern. And 13, trying to build some higher pressure towards Scandinavia, perhaps turning us a bit drier, but also a little bit cooler as well. And then in two time, these are the options that we've got. It'll get us to the 16th of November. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure in the Atlantic, bridging towards the northeast. Low pressure is to the south. Winds coming in from more of an easterly direction. So drier but cooler. We've got 18 with a ridge of high pressure in the Atlantic. A trough is a Scandinavia. Winds in from more of a northwesterly direction. No drier but little bit of a chilly side. And then we've got 13 in the control and the operation run taking the Low pressure way to the east, high pressure building out to the west, and that could start to introduce some colder air from the north. Bit of a minority option for the east Sham ensembles. It looks like day 10, most of the options are still involved with low pressure. We might find a way to high pressure mode by mid month. Let's see if we clear have updated at the CFS website. So, uh, no. So, we'll just move on from that. Hopefully, we'll be back on Monday. Uh, we'll go on to the CFSB2 700 millibar height to the for December. Opening salvo. Um, and go for an anti-cyclonic December with above average heights, high pressure just sitting through the North Atlantic into Western Europe as well. Trough of low pressure over Scandinavia and the Balkans. That could bring some pretty cold air to northeastern, maybe some eastern parts of Europe. For us, well, we're protected from that. No, probably chilly with that high pressure, frost and fog. The high has got to go a bit further northwards, of course, to uh, bring in properly cold air from the north and from the east. The temperature anomaly, as ever, is uh, above average with the CFS in those red shady colours. Not sure about that. I think high pressure in December could deliver frost and fog, which the model won't be able to see. Of course, gulls could also d deliver just a load of anticyclonic gloom. And uh, precipitation-wise, uh, it looks drier than normal as well. She expected high pressure. We'll see. There'll be a lot of twists and turns uh, with that forecast over the next uh, month or so, I'm sure. Well, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's say what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about that. Get to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And uh, tomorrow, we've got the next winter update. I think we're up to update number six. So, of a sixth winter 2025-26 update will be released tomorrow at Gazwell's at 10 a.m. I'm in for a busy day day today got uh the shift at what the gap and then i'll be back home and i'll be up until small hours <laughs> doing uh, the sip winter update for you but that will be released tomorrow so hopefully uh, you'll tune into that for this one that's all for now thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your saturday and bye for now